Hey guys, welcome to another one star review. Today I'm going to try one of these California Pizza Kitchen crispy flatbreads. This was $3.33 at Kroger. You do get two um, servings. You get two flatbreads in the box. This is a margarita uh, flavored or variety of them. It's vine ripe tomato, tomato sauce, reduced fat mozzarella, and Parmesan cheeses and basil on a flatbread crust. So it's basically just a cheese uh, with a little bit of tomato pizza. That's basically what it is. 190 calories per piece, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, two pieces. They're 190 calories each, so that's not bad. I mean, you can eat both of them for less than 400 calories. That's not that's not bad at all. Um, there's the other stuff for you. All right, so we're, we could do it in the oven, but we're not going to. We're going to do it in the microwave. So we're going to remove the flatbread from the plastic wrap, place it on the crisping tray, silver side up, and we're going to cook it um, near the edge of the turntable for best results. Um, and we, we're like right in the middle. So we're doing 225 for the, for the thing. So let me see what it looks like. Now there's what they look like. Oh, one has a lot of tomatoes on it and one doesn't have very many tomatoes at all. But I'll probably end up, I don't know. Well, I'll try one and we'll see how it goes. But I'm going to get it in the microwave. I will put this on a paper plate too though because sometimes the cheese runs off this little tray and you don't want it to run all over your microwave. So I put it on a paper plate of some kind first. Um, and then on the tray, you know, like paper plate, then the tray, and then the pizza. So, so yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, here it is out of the microwave, and you can see it did run over a little bit, and it did get a little, uh, looks like it dried out a little bit on the end. So, I probably would have been safe doing it for two minutes, honestly. So, anyway, um, I'm going to let this cool off, and I'll be back. Okay, it's had a little bit of time to cool off, and um, it did dry out quite a bit. I, like I said, I probably would have been better off doing it two minutes, but you live and learn. The second one, I'll only do two minutes, and it'll probably turn out better. So, here we go. Good and crunchy. The flavors are pretty good. They're um, they're not really strong flavors, and I don't know that that would have mattered whether I um, microwaved less time or not. Honestly, I like it crispy I like that. It's almost like a cracker. Um, so I like mine a little crispy. There's no sauce on here really. I can taste the cheese a little bit. That was Guido. Um, I can taste the cheese a little bit. And uh, I get the crust, that, and that's about it. I really don't get a tomato. Mm. Maybe a little bit of the herbs. I can taste those a little bit, but it's good. It's not spectacular. I've had better. So I'm going to give this one two and a half because, um, like I said, I don't think... Microwave the last time would have changed the flavor that much, maybe a little bit, but not that much. It's a very muted flavor. And the bigger pizzas that you bake probably taste, have a stronger flavor in them. These are just so thin. I mean, there's really no topping on there. You can see there's no topping. Um, you get a little bit of cheese and that's it. There's really no tomato sauce. There's no sauce. There's no, they put a bunch of tomatoes and peppers, or it looks like peppers. No, it's probably tomatoes, um, but they really don't have any flavor. So anyway, two and a half, I'm gonna stick with that and I'll catch you next time. <music>